Once again, bullets whizzing through the streets of Port-au-Prince as the national police force struggles to release Haiti's capital city from the grip of gangs. Bodies left where they fell next to gas pumps and collapsed wooded platforms. In between the burst of gunfire, people desperately search for their next meal. Sky News' Stuart Ramsey is in Port-au-Prince. Well, I'm in Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti. The people here have no idea when gang violence is going to flare in the whole of the city. has been beset with it for days and days now. So much so that people are now building barricades to try and stop the gangs getting through. Many Haitians now face an unbearable choice. Venture outside and risk being shot or stay inside and go hungry. Roughly 1.4 million Haitians are on the verge of famine, according to the UN, and more than 4 million need food. Haitians who have temporarily been allowed to cross into the Dominican Republic are coming to this market to sell oftentimes what little belongings they have to get food, things like eggs, so they can then take it back to their families who are still waiting on the other side in Haiti. Samuel is 18. He tells us he lives in Haiti but comes here to work and take food back to his family. Many innocent people are dying, he says. We do not want violence. We want a free country. The UN says more than 33,000 Haitians have fled Port-au-Prince in the last three and a half weeks. The humanitarian crisis and the violence is only getting worse. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.